The member for Kiruna Good Enough, Mr. Tomaresia, says there is an outbreak of a flu-like symptom in his district that highlights the need for medical assistance. However, the last medical supply the island district received was six months ago. Mr. Tomaresia is disappointed that the contractors continue to do this and inquire this on the floor of parliament this morning. I informed their contractors who are supposed to be uh, taking charge of freight of medicines and drugs to all provinces and districts. But a lot of these contractors get the drugs down to Alotau and they forget there is an island called Kiruguna Good Enough, an electric called Kiruguna Good Enough. And they dump it in Alotau expecting the cargo to fly itself to the islands. And so in the last seven years, the Kiruna Gunaf DDA has taken charge of our own supplies of drugs and medicine. Bonio Pacific supplies it to us. We put it on Tropicare direct to both islands, Kiruna and Gunaf. And we cannot continue to do a responsibility that has already been contracted to a contractor to supply medicine to our islands. In response, Health Minister gave an assurance of an investigation into this. Good member has said it's very, uh, it's lacking in, in delivery right to the door of the rural areas. So what I will be doing is doing an investigation with the Millen Bay Provincial Health Authority, which is the authority on the ground. And then we will get to the bottom of this and find out why the logistics companies are dumping medicine at the provincial headquarters instead of delivering them to the rural areas because that is what they're paid to do. Mr. Wong says the drone program will soon come into effect. In the next month or so, we should have this new drone program uh, up and running and not up and running, but uh, delivered to the the National Executive Council so that uh, it cuts out all these middlemen and it can go deliver straight to our rural areas. So Esther Bralinwani, NBC National News, Pod Mosby.